kitchen, Mahmoud Turkmani, head chef of Blue Marlin, is cooking up a fuss. Let's find out what he is up to. Good chef morning. Mahmoud, thank you so much for joining us. It's your first time on the show. We are very excited to have you. Yes, and thanks. I mean, Blue Marlin is one of those places. I mean, it's one of my favorite beach, beach clubs in Dubai because it's such a nice place to just sit down and chill out with friends. Tell us a little bit about the menu. What kind of food do you serve there? We do a lot of Spanish, we do a lot of Mediterranean food, mixed with Japanese hints. Mm -hmm. We do sushi, we, do, we, we, we mainly focus on fresh, like good quality of seafood. Mm -hmm. I've, I've tried sushi in Blue Marlin and I must say I'm thoroughly impressed, but what are you preparing for us this evening? I'm cooking a lobster, oh, I'm cooking a half lobster, mm -hmm. yeah, which basically I'm, I just blanch it in a, in a nice mervoa, which mix of vegetables, carrot, lake, celery and bay leaves. Mm -hmm. And I just take the tail off and then I'm going to cut it. I'll braise it with dashi stock, which... Mm -hmm. What's which a dashi stock? Which, which I can call it in English, let's say it's a, it's a fish stock, mm -hmm. okay? But it's a Japanese, it's a Japanese fish stock, which it's a dry fish. We just mix it with a bit of water and combo. Combo is a seaweed, mm -hmm. so it gives like really, really nice and strong flavor. Okay, a lot of uh, fresh looking ingredients over here. So looking forward to the lobster chef. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to cook along at home or if you'd like to prepare this a little later, the recipe is available on our Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash studio one live. Hey there, welcome back to Studio One with our feet firmly on the ground in the kitchen. Mahmoud is here uh, from Blue Mile. It's great to have you with us. Uh, and lobster. I mean, yeah. it's the start of the week. is spoiling us with lobster <laughs> tonight. Talk to me about the lobster itself. Um, when buying your lobster at home, what are you looking for in a good lobster? First of all, it needs to be alive. Yep. If it's alive, then it's fine. And then you look at the eyes, look at the, the, the stomach of the, of the lobster. And that's it. And fresh. You're looking fresh, for fresh, yeah. yeah. As long as it's alive, it, it's okay. Okay. Talk to me how you prepared this. So basically, I butchered the lobster yep. in, a, in a stock with mervois, vegetables, yep. any vegetables you like to have. And I took off the tail and I took off the claw of the lobster. Yeah. And I'm going to slice it. Okay. Okay. Like so in terms of, how, how, uh, ideally, how long do you want to poach for the lobster itself? We, I poached the, the, the claw for four or five minutes okay. and the tail for three minutes okay. because it's a little bit bigger so it takes a little bit longer right, to are. cook. Okay. So I'm going to slice the claw. Slice it up. Like just small bites. So you've got those little, little mouth sized bites. And I get the dashi stock which... Uh, so fish this is stock. Dashi stock. The fish yeah. with, a, with a, just a dash of seaweed in there as well, is that? Yeah, there's seaweed, there is a dry fish which is called bonito. Yep. It's like a type of tuna. Okay. So that's adding that, uh, that, that seafood flavour yet again. Yes, to, to, to get more kick, to get more like okay. a stronger flavour. Look at these lovely mushrooms. And I'm using a shiitake mushroom, the which shiitakes. also has really, really nice and sharp taste. Okay. And those are looking very, very moist. So they've been soaked in... Yeah, they dried and okay. soaked in the water for about an hour. Okay. So just putting that rehydration through the, through, through the fungi again, yes. yeah? I'm lovely. just going to slice them a little bit. So we've got about four minutes, Chef. Plenty of time for you. Cool. So the shiitake going in on top of the uh, lobster in the broth there. Yep. Perfect dish for this time of year, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, especially blue marlin. It's, um, it's a, it's a, it's a sea good seller down there, is very, it? Very, very good. Yeah. yeah. Well, when in blue marlin, lobster. <laughs> got to be on the menu, isn't it, really? And then I'm going to add... It doesn't need, it doesn't need much time to be cooked because we already have cooked it. Yeah. While so just infusing those flavors here. Exactly. Yeah. I'm just giving it an extra strong flavor from, okay. the, from the dashi. And then a spoon of the yellow paste, which basically I just roasted and blended. So peppers, roasted, Roast and blend. peeled, blended. Exactly. And, and then gone well. in. And the garlic, garlic puree. I blend the, the garlic three times. Yeah. Just to get rid of the sharpness of the garlic and get the sweetness okay. from it. Because when you cook the garlic for a long time, you get really really nice sweet flavor wow, and that's crazy, what you yeah. that's what you're looking for yeah really creamy isn't it so it yeah, loses yeah, that yeah, sort of bitterness that you sometimes it's really get. nice it's really, really yeah so that's a great idea with your with with your old uh, uh peppers as well because you could use that for other dishes couldn't you yeah, yeah, yeah you can use it for have that for at home. You can mix it with any fish you want it gives it that lovely color as well doesn't it yep okay about three minutes left so a bit of seasoning into the pan you don't need to put salt on it because the the stock, it's really strong. It has okay. a bit of salty, saltiness taste. 
Wow. And just looking to coat all the ingredients, yeah? Yes. I reduce the stock for a bit. Wonderful. And then right. Meanwhile, we do the the tone. And this when we so retaining the shell because that's all about presentation, isn't it? Yes. And when you talked about the sort of preparation time, I mean, as you said, all those ingredients are cooked, so you're just looking to literally yeah, just to bring those flavors together. Exactly. Okay. Then I do the salad, which yep. seaweed salad with blum dressing. Okay. It's also a nice combination with the with the with the with the lobster. lobster. Okay. And you need you need you need more protein. You can get you know rice, you have no okay. so you need more of seaweed. Yeah. Just under two minutes, chef, just to let you know. So you've got your, yeah, we your got leaves, your leaves, seaweeds, bit the of radish. Yeah, the main ingredient is seaweed and you can just pick any leaves you want to. And the blunt dressing. And in terms of the dressing, what sort of goes into the dressing here? It's soy sauce, yeah. corn oil, a yeah. little bit of honey, salt okay. and pepper. So quite a sweet dressing just to cut through yes. the lobster, yeah? yeah. Some and I mean seaweed, is that is that something you can readily buy nowadays or not? Yeah, yeah, you can is get it from any supermarket. Okay, I'm looking in the wrong shelves, me. Where did you go? Wow, okay, okay, time to bring this thing together. So, with the salad. Salad dressed into the pan, beautifully presented as well. And that little element of crunch as well, that's coming from? That's no no noodles, glass noodles. Okay, so you've got the glass noodles so in there the as well. So crispness on it. Look at that. Oh, just put it on wow. the lobster. Beautiful, beautiful presentation from Mahmoud. Go and try this dish down at Blue Marlin. Uh, see the man himself down there. Or even better, try it at home. And imagine presenting that to your dinner party guests at home. Eh? Yeah, they'll be really happy. They'd be coming <laughs> around again, wouldn't they? That's for sure. And uh, it's uh, ginger root. Ginger root? Yeah. The normal ginger, the root of it, yeah. is just pickled, oh, and it's, really? it's a very, very nice combination with the with the seafood. Okay. And you get some spring onion. And then claws and things like that. You're going to use those as well, or yeah, we'll put it. They go straight on top. Look yeah. at that! Because they cook. Oh, you spoil us, eh? <laughs> Wait a minute, that looks divine. Let's get Ash over to try that one. I know she yes. loves her lobster as well. So, um, a beautiful dish. And in terms of people cooking their lobster, I mean, what's the, what's the biggest mistake people make when preparing lobster at home? Either overcooking it or not getting it fresh. Okay, so fresh and don't overcook. Yes. Let lobster speak. It's so nice to walk into a kitchen where you've got such freshly prepared lobster. This is why I love my job. Let's get stuck into this one. Mm. This looks <laughs> so good. It does is look it, I'm divine. sure, but judging by the looks, I'm sure it's one of the best sellers at Blue Marlin. Isn't yeah, it? we do sell a lot from yeah. it. So, lobster, mushroom, mm. mushroom, lobster, mushroom and lobster. Mm. Oh, wow. That is so good. I mean, all the, from the, from the dashi stock, from the, from the uh, seaweed stock, it mm. gives like a really, really nice kick. And especially when you get with the, with the salad, oh, it's really mm. balanced. That? That blum dressing. Can I have that? <laughs> so that's yeah, the secret can, sauce, can, and which is not much of a secret any mo anymore because the recipe is oh. available on our Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash Studio One Live. And that is all we have time for <laughs> this evening because uh, we're busy getting stuck. That is out of this world. Try that salad though, because mm -hmm. that dressing is to die for. Join us tomorrow <laughs> if we haven't died for it already <laughs> as we find out how uh, to power your car with. Um, get this. The fat of dead animals, that's right, you heard me right. <laughs> the fat of